Howdy, howdy. Hey, uh, crazy stuff. Crazy. We have, uh, made a few changes around here. We are getting more eggs. Woo-wee. We went a few weeks without getting many. We're back into eggs. I mean, we're getting, we've already gotten over a dozen today, and it's middle of the day. It's like one o'clock. Um, we got the greenhouse going over here. We're going to have it, uh, with seeds. It's getting prepared for next, next spring. The garden's, uh... Our fall garden got ravaged by, by rabbits. We took care of the problem. It's coming back now. I've got a fence around it, so even if they wanted to get in there, the electric fence is completely around it. I've moved some goats around. But you know what? Hey, hey, none of that matters right now. We've got goats on the way, by the way. We do have goats on the way, but this is what this is about right here. Let's talk about what we have here. Notice, it looks like two different mushrooms. Might be. We're going to learn. We're going to find out. What are these? The, this one here should be, but we're going to test it and make sure, a honey mushroom. This one might be a honey mushroom. We're going to test them and see. Let me show you where they are. House Got a little bit of a mess. Excuse all this. we got to clean all this up. But look, look in here. Underneath this Japanese magnolia tree, a great tree, by the way. You can actually, uh, I mean, a lot of the parts of it are, are edible and very, very medicinal and good for you. And, and the regular magnolia tree. In the state of Mississippi, magnolia tree is a state tree. And it's actually highly medicinal. Good stuff. Hey, kitty. You're in my way. This ain't about you, even though you do blend in with the mushroom. Look at these things. They grow and are beautiful. And if these are honey mushrooms, which we do believe they are, each one is individually uh, growing from the ground. That's an old stump right there. So they're growing on the wood, which is where they should be growing from. And if these are honey mushrooms, we are going to have ourselves a feast. And the other ones in question that could be, but possibly are not, because they're growing straight from the ground, are these right over here. They look very similar. But very different at the same time. So, I'm going to test them. And it's the spore test. Let's go inside and I'll show you the spore test. And we're just going to do these two because one is indicative of that entire group there. And the other one is, eh, we'll, we'll do them all. Let's go in. Y'all ready? So, I'm inside. Let me show you what Mima's already done. She did this one up here on a paper bag. I'm going to cut the stems off these and just lay them on here. It won't matter. The darker background, the better. I'm just going to put mine there. And uh, it really looks like a honey mushroom from here. It really does. All right, so hold on. All right, so here we are. I'm going to cut these off. Um, I, I actually do think that this is a honey mushroom based off the gills go down the stem, which is something they should do if they're honey mushrooms. But we're going to do the spore test. If these are honey mushrooms, they're going to leave white spores on the shelf over there. Let's go see. All right, I got them here. I'm going to leave this one like this right here. And I'm going to lean it a little bit. If these are honey mushrooms, they're going to leave a white spore print here on this cabinet and on this paper. All right. If they are not honey mushrooms, they won't leave the spore prints. Or at least not white spore prints. We're going to come back. It takes anywhere from 2 to 12 hours. In 2 hours, we'll start seeing them. In 12 hours, they will be very visible. You don't have to wait that long. I do. We'll be back in a few hours. I'll let you see. All right. It's just been a couple hours. A few hours. I'm back at the mushrooms. Of course, it was just a second or so for you, so <laughs> must be nice. I had to wait. <laughs> Let me show you this. All right, this is the mushroom that Mima put up here. Look at that white. See that dusting? That, those are the spores. Look at there. We could wait longer, and it would even be more so. All right, the white spores like that shows that that is a honey mushroom. All right, now let's see this. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this, what is this? Look at that, that is awesome. That is beautiful. If these 
were poisonous. If these were not the honey, there would not be white spores like that. See that? This is an older one. These are the younger ones. These are the ones we want to eat. So these are safe to eat. You saw how they were growing. Now, I know what they are. I'm going to go pick them, bring them in here from Mima, and make her cook them up for us. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to try that, Mama? Yes. Yes. So we're going to try it. All right? All right. Back out here at the mushrooms. I'm going to get a few of them. I'm not going to get all of them. Honestly, we're going to cook some up, see how they taste, and then come back and get the rest. Two nice clusters here. Then, if you look over here, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Look at there. Another cluster coming up over there. And then, this other cluster, the older cluster right here. So, so we'll, I may cook up a, an older one, see how it tastes. And then I'll cook up some of the younger ones. And then we'll wait on those right there to grow. And hey. We'll get them and keep eating mushrooms. It's a good deal. And let's see here. We have some more right here that look a lot like them. We're going to do the test on them. Let's see here. Let's see here. I believe they are. But we're going to test them. Um, they might not be. But we're going to test them. This was up at the boys' fort that they've built. So... We'll test these as well. No need in going and eating mushrooms that we hadn't tested. All right? Don't want to get sick or poisoned. So let's get these picked here real quick. That's enough to get us started. So I'm back here in the kitchen. Uh, just remember, we're a homestead. We got kids, so we got a lot of noise going on back here. I ain't gonna ask them to quiet, hey, we're making a video. No. We're homestead. So there's gonna be a lot of noise in the background. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, here's our honey mushrooms. All right, see the, the black spots in the middle here? That's indicative of honey mushrooms. Black hairs in the middle. The gills are white. And remember that awesome spore, the white spores on the dark background after leaving them for a few hours. You got that? You're, you're, you're well on your way to having honey mushrooms. Looks like a, a whole plate of potatoes or something, doesn't it? <laughs> These are raw. We're getting ready. To, I'm going to cook them up here and... Then we're gonna eat them. All right. Garlic. So we can still see which ones were the larger, older mushrooms. That's these here. So I will do my best to ensure I taste one of those along with the others. You can smell them pretty good, can't you? Yeah. They've got a, a little of aroma. Of course, you got the garlic there as well. Butter. Garlic. I'm going to cook these for about 15 minutes.
Looks like seafood from here with the gills. But it's not. Adding a little garlic salt. You should thoroughly cook honey mushrooms. At least 15 minutes. Now keep in mind, these are called honey mushrooms, not because they're sweet like honey, but because of the color. Only the color. They're mushrooms. They taste like mushrooms. In fact, once they're cooked properly, they taste more like a shiitake mushroom. Doesn't look like there's quite as many now, huh? They're shrinking up. Okay, they're getting close. And yes, we're going to put them on tortillas. So there we have it. Armillaria. Honey mushrooms. Honey fungus. Cooked up. Ready to be served. On the tortilla. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here's one. I'm going to try it. Hmm. Delicious. A little bit of a tangy flavor. And my mushroom taco. Honey mushroom taco. Maybe we should coin that, huh? Pretty good, folks. A little salty. But not bad. Too salty? A little bit of a uh, bitter tangy little bit. Not bad. Good stuff. Foraging. Good stuff. Mushrooms. Find them. They're easy to find. Easy to identify. Yes, you have to be careful. But you can do it. You don't have to be afraid of it. Just find good mushrooms. Or just find some pretty mushrooms, look them up, do some research, and guess what? Eat them. Honey mushrooms, we eat, wow, well, my goodness, we've eaten honey mushrooms, we've eaten what? oyster mushrooms, what else, mama? Uh, chanterelles. Chanterelles and little trump trumpet mushrooms. We've got four different kinds that grow here on this homestead. And here we go. Y'all enjoy. Come back and see us. Go forage. You can probably find this in your yard somewhere. Old dead tree, old dead wood or something. Go look for them.